Here we go with the lobsters at the largest buffet in Orange County, Southern California. If buffets have lobsters all you can eat, then you know you're at a pretty good buffet. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Steve from Rockstar Eater coming to you with another rockin' episode. And I am out here in Westminster in Orange County today. I am at the Westminster Mall and I've never been here before in my life. So this is the first time. I'm here checking out a rockin' spot. I'm gonna be jumping back into the world of buffet in Southern California. Here at this restaurant called the Lux Buffet. I heard that Lux Buffet is actually the largest buffet in Orange County. That is rockin'. And I came on a good day because they said on Sundays that's when you get the lobsters and the oysters and the crab and all that good stuff. And trust me, you wanna go on days where they have the best stuff because that is what makes buffets so worth it. So if you guys wanna see one of the best, biggest buffets that you can find in Southern California, you've come to the right episode. So stick all the way to the end so that I can show you all these amazing selections here at this acclaimed buffet in Southern California. And also if you're new to this channel, take a moment right now to hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell because I post these food and travel videos weekly. You don't wanna miss out on. So go ahead, do that right now. And I came with a big appetite. Oh yeah, here we go. I can tell this is a big buffet, not just in terms of the 100 plus selections, but the space is really woo, large. You could definitely have large groups in here. When you come on Sunday, like I said, this is the best day where they have all the top stuff like the lobsters, the crab, oysters, uh, $40 on Sunday per person all day, but definitely check on the website. Depending on what day you come, the prices could be different. Well, let's see some of the awesome selections they have here, like the coconut shrimp, and then we got the breaded shrimp, and then the chicken sticks, which look very awesome. Ooh, pecking duck dinner. This looks very fresh. I'm definitely gonna get that. And then the steam fish. I always like that. Some sort of a white fish they got going on here. Garlic scallops with vermicelli. Haven't seen that before. I think I'll definitely try that. And some baked salmon. All right, that looks pretty cool. Uh, baked crab meat. All looks so good. Oh yeah, spicy salmon. A lot more hot food, so it doesn't end. Let me show you what they got here. Uh, seafood delight, looks like it's shrimp and some broccolis, imitation crab meat. All right, crispy soulfish. This looks very delicious. Yeah, I'll definitely get that. Orange chicken, okay, if you are orange chicken fan, they got you covered right here. And they have the beef and broccoli, so yes, they do have some Chinese influences in this buffet. Sauteed mushrooms with abalone, wow, that sounds fancy. And a clam with black bean sauce, that's always an Asian classic. Crawfish dinner, very popular in buffets. Okay, now we're moving on to some Chinese vegetables. Chinese style vegetables and green beans. Uh, fried pepper, shrimp, and chicken. Okay, chow mein, if you love it, I'm not gonna get it, but a lot of people do, so they have it here. Fried rice, pot stickers. This is the southern pork ribs they got going on here, which is awesome. Okay, here's the main event right here on Sundays, the baked lobster. Fried wings, french fries. Ah, let's see, we got some sesame balls and egg rolls. Ooh, this is pretty cool. They got dim sum here as well. They got the chashu ball, and I think that's sticky rice, I believe so. And some uh, pork shumai. Look at that, they even have chicken feet here. That's crazy, okay. Some sort of a fish ball soup. And this is uh, lobster soup. Okay, that sounds good. Anything lobster sounds good to me. Okay, hot and sour soup. That's an Asian classic right there. Another classic egg drop soup. Uh, let's see, miso soup. Okay, another one of the main eventers, the crab legs. Definitely get this when you're here. And next to it, 
for sure. That's the raw oysters, and they also have mussels. Yes, I'm gonna definitely get plenty of those oysters. Wow, all right, nice. They have this butter machine, and this is for the crab legs. So yes, you, uh, I guess, dispense the butter just like that. Oh, that's so cool. I am starting off hot. So this is what I'm gonna do is start from the top, and then I'm gonna work my way down. Because you want to fill up your stomach space on all the really nice, expensive things. Crab legs, lobster, and raw oysters. Can't get any better than that, right? Mmm. Wow, those oysters are good. It's pretty fresh. Obviously, you want the oysters to be fresh, right? Otherwise, how are you going to eat them? You're not going to eat some non-fresh oysters that could poison you. So yeah, the oysters are definitely a safe bet here. They're really good. So if you love oysters, definitely take advantage of them up there because they got a lot of these oysters up there. The lobster is really what you have to spend most of your time eating because this is the most expensive thing that you can find in the restaurant. Mm. This actually has a very nice chew to it, which is pretty awesome and I love the that mayo sauce that's over it, which I think they bake it before they serve it in that line. Now lobsters, they only give one at a time each time you go up, but I would say go up as many times as you can so you can get this. It's just pure awesomeness. And now moving on to these crab legs, okay, very Vegas style. You definitely need to get your money's worth on this. And I noticed that these crab legs are so like sharp. Whoa, so yeah, you gotta be careful on these things so that you don't uh, poke yourself. Ugh. All right, I got it. I got it, I got it. Yes. And once again, butter, gotta have butter. Oh, that butter, it really reminds me of the butter they put on the popcorn in movie theaters. It's such a rich tasting butter. Very good tasting. Butter, lemon. That's what you want to focus on when you come here, is just all you can eat. Crabs. A lot of water in here, you gotta be careful. Yep, more butter. I like those crabs because they're so chilled. So refreshing, and the meat, very juicy. You see that? That's the mountain of crab legs and oysters that I just finished off. But I'm not stopping here because this is a buffet, which means that I gotta go up and eat more. I'm obligated to. If I get some of this duck. This garlic scallop looks very interesting too. Oh yeah, more lobsters. Oh yeah, definitely gotta get your money's worth. Now here's something that's worth mentioning too. They also have Brazilian barbecue here. All right, got some churrasco action. Let's try it. Wow, mashed potatoes. Okay, yes, I'm gonna try the beef. Oh yeah, look at that, it looks beautiful, doesn't it? All right, there we go. Just letting you know, guys, they also have a teppanyaki section here as well where you can pretty much pick out your favorite noodles and proteins and vegetables and they'll cook it on the teppan grill. And yes, maybe the chef is talented enough to do some benihana tricks for you. Yeah, it's quite a show. So if you're into that, definitely get it. I don't think I'm gonna get it today because I wanna save my stomach room for other stuff, but yeah, they do have it here, just letting you know. This one catches my eye immediately, this garlic abalone with vermicelli. I don't think I've ever seen noodles on top of a scallop shell before. That is crazy, that's like, that's, that's creative, yeah. That's a very interesting combination. You feel like you're eating um, some sort of a noodle dish with a piece of scallop that has that garlicky kind of salty flavor to it. I think it works. Now here's an item that I want to try. Ooh, the pecking duck. Oh, wow. Wow, this is actually better than I thought. <laughs> It's good, yeah. The skin is good, the meat, 
It's fairly moist too. Very pleasant tasting pecking duck. I don't know what kind of cut it is. I honestly don't remember. It's not picanha, that's for sure. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, the, the beef itself has a very pleasant taste to it. I like the marination on it. But this one, I think it's been sitting there for some time, which is why it's been cooked well done. Yeah, but this is something, get medium. If they have it up there medium, it would actually taste really good. So be sure to request the chef. I always like to eat sausages at Brazilian restaurants. Even at buffets, why not give it a shot, right? Wow, that's actually pretty good. It's very soft inside. That's how I like it. Not tough at all. The top is kind of crispy. And the inside is very soft. It has pretty good flavor too. Okay, and here we go with the lobster once again. I can't get enough of this. I'm stressing this. You got to eat this when you come here because this is probably the best item you're going to get here at this restaurant. Any buffet that serves lobster is like a good buffet. You should eat all the lobsters that you can. Mm. How many of these can you eat if you're at a buffet? Drop that comment. I want to hear your story. They got a lot of sushi here as well, which is typical of a lot of Asian inspired buffets. California roll, spicy tuna roll, spicy cooked salmon roll, uh, vegetable roll, and a crunchy roll. Yes, if you love sushi rolls, you're gonna have a blast here. Crab meat roll, spicy salmon roll, Philadelphia roll, salmon roll, rainbow roll, Oh yeah, we're, we're just going through the entire menu. Tempura roll, egg, uh, crab meat sushi, bean curd, shrimp. Does this look exciting to you guys? It does to me. Saba, which is like mackerel, salmon sushi, and of course ginger and wasabi. They also got sashimi as well, salmon sashimi, Tuna sashimi, uh, let's see, saba sashimi, okay, mackerel, and adamami, okay. <laughs> Moving on to round number three. Now this is my sushi round, sushi rolls, and of course I had to get some more of these lobsters because like I said, that's the thing you gotta get when you come here. Definitely not gonna get something like out of a high-end omakase sushi restaurant, but still, I mean, it's, it's enjoyable. So in that sense, you can just sit and you can just enjoy it. Oh man. Yeah, I'm kind of getting full right now, but like I said, I want to get my money's worth, so I'm definitely going to eat more of these lobsters. I think this is my eighth piece of lobster. Not a whole lobster, eighth um, of the half slice. So that means I've had about four lobsters already. These aren't like those really huge lobsters, more kind of like the small size lobsters. But still, small lobsters, better than no lobsters, right? So they do have a dessert bar here. It's not the biggest dessert bar I've seen, but still, some dessert is better than no dessert, I guess. Ah, they don't have labels on this. I don't really know what is what. This is like some sort of, maybe like coffee type of a cake, I think. Okay. And uh, this looks like coconut. Yeah, maybe coconut cake or something. Oh, this one's coconut. Okay, got it. Hey, every buffet has a fruit section. Looks like you got some classic choices. Pineapple, watermelon, orange, cantaloupe, and uh, honeydew, I think. Wow, what is this? They got these what's called flavored sticks. Cherry flavored, uh, orange flavored, yeah, chocolate flavored. Strawberry flavor, raspberry flavor. Do you think I should get one of these? I don't know. What a great way to end off this buffet, seriously. There's some awesome dessert cakes, and then also Jello, which is something that I always like to get at buffets. If I were you, definitely stick with the lobsters, the oysters, the crabs. You can't go wrong with that. It's uh, pretty good here, and they only offer that on Sundays. 
So definitely get here on Sunday, even if you have to pay a little bit more for the meal because those are what makes your experience. I can't really say what the food is like during the rest of the days, but definitely if you come here on a Sunday, those are the three things you should get. And everything else, I mean, it's kind of up to you whether you like those foods or not. But yeah, I mean, it's all pretty solid. So I think overall, if you're looking for a pretty good buffet in the Orange County area, then this is probably it right here. Lux Buffet, one of the most popular buffet restaurants that you can find in Southern California that you cannot miss out on. So I guess I can kind of just walk around this mall so I can burn off some calories. Good idea since I haven't been here before. Good time to discover. Anyways, thank you so much for watching this episode of Rockstar Eater. If you enjoy what I'm doing here on the show, give me a thumbs up. Also comment on the section below if you've been to this mall before, been to this restaurant, I'd love to hear your story. And finally subscribe because more of these awesome food and travel videos are coming out. But I hope you have a rocking day today folks and I'll see you all in the next food adventure.